welcome back to my channel my name is Jamie with Lady May Ricky Designs and today I want to show you how you can customize your own phone grips so first and foremost I did purchase my phone grips I think it was through you know what I'm just gonna link them down below if you'd like to know they're down below and I have a customer that wants to put their family photos on them so as you can see I've already uploaded them onto design space and then the next step would be adding a circle and then turning that circle from a basic cut to a draw. Make it the color red and then lastly turning the size to 1.55. Turning it to draw makes it easier to see through the image and then the red is easier to see exactly where the circle is. Then simply you can move the image wherever you'd like it to be within that red circle the circle would represent the phone grip and where your cut line is going to be. And finally, you will select both your items, the picture and the red circle, highlight both, right click, and then go down to slice. Then once you slice the image, you will see the, the circle will just pop right out. <laughs> so then you just delete what you don't want, the rest of the photo, and also once your last picture is done, the red circle. Now for the hard part for the Cricut. So you're gonna print out, I use a sticker paper, I will link below what sticker paper I use, I get it from Amazon. And then so you just print it out, load it into the Cricut, then let the machine do the hard work of cutting out the circles. And then we're on to the next step. All right, as you can see, I'm getting ready to put the stickers down on the phone grips. You want to take your time because you don't wanna to have to lift it back up. You might crinkle the paper, it'll lose its stickiness. No, ma'am. So we need to try to get it right the first time. You might see a little sliver of phone grip around the picture. I honestly like that because once I'm ready to put the resin on it, it has, it kind of like encapsulate, is that the right? Encapsulate, encap, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. It, it kind of like hugs, there we go. It kind of hugs the picture to the phone grip. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is the resin. But first, I do have a little cute little sneak peek of something that I'm working on. These are eyelash holders. It does come with a top, so these are just the bottoms. I didn't really like how this one turned out, but the purple one I'm living for. But anywho, now, if you've never worked with resin before, please do your research some people do have outbreaks they have side effects like just please do your research before you hop into resin so yeah i was trying to show you the consistency of both the resins there is like a thicker one and then a runnier one personally whenever i use resin i always put the runnier one the part b in my measuring cup because Part A is so much thicker, sometimes it's hard to get it off the, the sides and off the bottom of the cup. So I just, I don't know, it works for me when you work with resin, you do your own little thing. So if you have any tips and tricks, feel free to leave them in my comments. I love learning new stuff. This is some really tricky business. So any tips that you got, I would love to hear them. And also while you're down there, Make sure to hit that like button and maybe even subscribe if you haven't already and you made it this far into the video. It really does help out my channel. I've seen that I made 20 subscribers, which I know is not a lot to some people, but it's a lot to me. And I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for watching my content. So cheers to more Sunday videos. Anyway, so do y'all want to see an absolute epic fail? Just watch this. Did y'all see that? Let me rewind it for you guys. So, I pick up the cup, spill it once, boom. Try to look at what I spilled, boom, spilled it again. That was literally two spills of resin in literally like milliseconds. And I was so shocked, I literally just froze. I didn't know what to do. But... You know, you just got to keep swimming. So that's what I did. Now, whenever you mix resin, you're going to see these little lines. 
you just want to mix 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 until there's no more lines and this is the first coat of resin that I'm doing so it doesn't have to be perfect to be honest you just want to kind of get it in there make sure you get all around the sticker and it's not going to be much of a dome if you know what I mean this is just the first layer it's going to be rather flat and then once I'm not sure if I recorded it but after it sat for 24 hours I came back with another thing of resin and I domed it out. I just kind of used the surface tension and dripped the resin on there while it was laying flat. I didn't pick it up or anything. I just laid it flat on the surface and I just dripped until I could kind of I could kind of see that there was a dome happening and I was happy and then I let it sit for another 24 hours and this is how it turned out. They're so glossy and pretty and all those colors on the photos just popped. Oh, and here's some lovely ASMR for you guys. Oh yeah, not bad for my first ASMR video. And these weren't quite ready yet. I had to do some touch-ups on these. And then I just couldn't help myself but make a couple more. So those were still drying. But I just, of course, wanted to show them off. And now I'm just packaging them up. And that's pretty much the end of this video. I'll be listing all of these on my website. Except, of course, for the ones that have family photos. But all the other ones are going to be on my website. For sure, by the time this video is up, they might already be there. So go check out my website. The link is in the bio. And that's all I have for you guys for this week. I hope you enjoyed. I'm not going to give you the whole spill because I did it in the middle of the video. But you know what to do. Love you guys so much. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.